Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Piloting and maintaining aircraft presents unique challenges in regions where icy winds whip across vast, snow-covered landscapes. At this Air Force Base, amidst winter's unyielding grip, Crews confront the relentless task of operating and sustaining aircraft under some of the harshest conditions imaginable. Here, frozen planes stand as a testament to both the rigors of nature and the unwavering commitment to maintaining aerial operations, regardless of the weather. In this environment, Every takeoff and landing is a triumph over the extreme cold of Arctic-like conditions. As we delve deeper into the realities of this frostbound Air Force Base, the focus shifts to the meticulous efforts required to keep runways and aircraft in prime condition. Continuously battling snow accumulation, teams work tirelessly to sweep the runways, ensuring their readiness for safe takeoffs and landings. This task, though repetitive, is vital for maintaining a healthy runway amidst the relentless snowfall. Parallel to runway maintenance, the upkeep of aircraft is equally demanding in these frigid conditions. Routine maintenance tasks are augmented by the critical process of removing snow from the wings, windshield, and fuselage. This additional step is not just a matter of procedure, but a crucial safety measure. Flying with a snow-laden aircraft is not just risky, it possesses a serious threat to both the aircraft's functionality and the safety of its crew. Therefore, ensuring every aircraft is free of snow and ice before flight is paramount in these harsh winter conditions. Integral to the operation of this Arctic-like Air Force Base is the process of de-icing, a critical step in ensuring both aircraft and runway safety. De-icing involves the meticulous removal of snow, ice, or frost from surfaces. Beyond just clearing these elements, there's also the vital practice of anti-icing. This involves applying specialized chemicals that not only remove existing ice, but also prevent its formation for a period. Ensuring surfaces remain clear and functional. The methods of de-icing are diverse and adaptable to various needs. These include mechanical means, like scraping and pushing, applying heat, and using chemical agents like salts, brines, alcohols, or glycols, each lowering water's freezing point. Some methods combine these techniques for maximum efficiency. This process is crucial not just for the runways, ensuring they are clear and safe for aircraft operations, but also for the aircraft. De-icing the aircraft's body is essential to maintain optimal performance and safety 
particularly in conditions where even a small layer of ice can significantly impact the aircraft's aerodynamics and systems. To ensure runway safety after de-icing, friction testing is essential. Specialized vehicles with friction testing kits assess the runway's condition measuring the level of friction to determine if it's safe for aircraft operations. This crucial step guides decisions on further de-icing needs and runway usability, maintaining safety in the extreme winter conditions of the base. In Arctic regions, unique methodologies are essential for year-round operations. A prime example is the collaboration between the U.S. Army Engineer Research and Development Center's Cold Regions Lab and the National Science Foundation's Office of Polar Programs. This partnership led to a revolutionary surface design for Antarctica's runways. Terry Melendi, a CRREL research civil engineer, notes, the design involved a compaction technique to strengthen the snow's foundation, creating a surface capable of supporting heavy aircraft like the C-17. This innovation, taking over 16 months to complete, was a result of close collaboration with NSF and Air Mobility Command, highlighting a significant advancement in Arctic aviation technology. In these Arctic and Antarctic expanses, the commitment to year-round operations is not just a logistical challenge, but a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. The missions in these cold regions encompass a wide array of activities, including precise plane landings on snow-covered runways, efficient unloading of essential supplies, and prompt deployment of various missions. A key player in these operations is the LC-130H, a ski-equipped variant of the Lockheed C-130 Hercules specifically designed for polar missions. Operated by the 109th Airlift Wing of the New York Air National Guard, these 10 aircraft are uniquely adapted to the extreme conditions of the Arctic and Antarctic. Their ability to land on snow and ice, coupled with their robust construction, makes them indispensable for transporting personnel, equipment, and supplies in these remote, inhospitable environments. Each successful landing and deployment underscores the strategic importance and operational capabilities of these specialized aircraft in supporting vital missions year-round. As the LC-130 Hercules gracefully descends onto the icy runway, one of its critical missions comes into focus deploying snowmobile units. These specialized vehicles, essential for mobility in the snow-clad terrains, are smoothly offloaded from the aircraft.
In environments where traditional road vehicles with winter tires fall short, snowmobiles emerge as the linchpin for effective ground operations. Their agility and robust design enable swift movement across the snowy landscape, proving indispensable for various tasks, ranging from transportation to emergency responses. Recognizing the importance of these vehicles, numerous training exercises are conducted to ensure personnel are proficient in operating snowmobiles under these extreme conditions. These exercises not only enhance operational readiness, but also ensure safety and efficiency in executing missions. The deployment of snowmobiles from the LC-130 is more than a logistical operation. It symbolizes the adaptability and preparedness that define missions in these harsh, cold conditions. Alongside snowmobiles, another pivotal element in Arctic operations is the snow panzer. This robust vehicle plays a crucial role in transportation, navigating the challenging terrain with ease. The U.S. Army Engineer Research and Development Center specifically the Cold Regions Research and Engineering Laboratory Mobility Group, spearheads the advancement of these vehicles. They conduct a series of maneuvers in both wheeled and tracked vehicles, demonstrating remarkable agility under extreme weather conditions. These exercises, ranging from ascending snow-covered hills to navigating icy expanses are not just tests of vehicle capabilities, but are also crucial in developing mobility solutions. The insights gained are vital for addressing the diverse terrain challenges faced by warfighters in various global locations. Apart from the specialized snow vehicles, another significant advancement in military transportation is the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, JLTV. This program, a collaborative effort of the U.S. Army, U.S. Marine Corps, and Special Operations Command, seeks to partially replace the Humvee fleet with a family of more survivable vehicles that offer greater payload. Initiated with early studies in 2006, the JLTV program builds on lessons learned from the Future Tactical Truck Systems program and other associated projects. The high-mobility multi-purpose wheeled vehicle Humvee, first introduced in 1985, was designed during the Cold War, a period when threats like improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and asymmetric warfare were not primary considerations for military planners. However, the Humvee's vulnerability to IEDs became evident and the challenges and costs in effectively up-armoring them led to the development of the JLTV. While initially conceived as a direct replacement for the Humvee, U.S. Department of Defense officials now clarify that JLTVs are intended to complement rather than entirely replace the Humvee fleet. 
This new vehicle family aims to offer enhanced survivability, payload, and mobility, addressing the evolving needs of modern warfare. As we conclude our exploration of these extraordinary Arctic and Antarctic operations, we are reminded of the remarkable feats of engineering and adaptability that make such missions possible. From the specialized vehicles like snow panzers and snowmobiles, to the cutting edge advancements represented by the LC-130H and the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle. Each element plays a vital role in overcoming the challenges posed by these harsh environments. The collaborative efforts of various military branches and research organizations underscore a commitment to innovation and safety, ensuring that operations can be carried out effectively regardless of the extreme conditions. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.